Ever since Porsche launched the Cayenne, there has been a strong push within the industry to make SUVs sporty, to tune their suspensions on the Nürburgring, give them quick shifting transmissions, and bolster the front seats to the max because apparently SUV buyers are actually looking for sports cars on stilts. The Mercedes ML350 doesn't try to be a sports car, and that's what makes it such a wonderful SUV. Welcome to the Mercedes ML350 Blue Tech. This is a five seat SUV. It has a turbo diesel V6 out of three liters. It makes 240 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque. It's a lot of torque, best in class actually for these SUVs. It competes with, of course, the Cayenne diesel, the Touareg diesel, the Audi diesel, and the BMW X5 diesel, all of which are excellent options. I will say that they are all really good cars, very tough competition in this class. So where does the Mercedes stand out from the competition? Well, for one, the engine is fantastic. It revs really smooth. It's the least diesel-like of any of the engines in its class. If you were to get in this car and go for a ride and someone didn't tell you it was a diesel, chances are you probably wouldn't even notice, honestly. Very few vibrations make it into the cabin. In the uh, adjustable suspension, which I've got in comfort right now, the ride quality is really good. The Mercedes is a, probably the cushiest of the three. The, uh, the Audi and uh, the Porsche and the Volkswagen ride a little stiffer. The BMW is a bit sport tuned. The Mercedes is more comfort tuned. So if I switch into sport now, let's see what happens. It's got an air suspension, so very adjustable, both in terms of height and in terms of dampening. Not a huge difference though when I switch into sport. I feel a little bit more through the chassis, but not a massive difference. I can adjust the height too for clearing uh, our objects or for going off-road. Plenty of toys in this car actually. It's got a great backup camera, which I love. It's got two views to help you make sure you can see everything around you. The command system, I don't love it. Not as good as BMWs, not as easy to use as Audis. It doesn't have the touch screen that Porsche has, and it's got a keypad here. I don't know who still dials numbers by hand, but probably not someone who's gonna be doing it while driving their Mercedes SUV. I do love the detailing in their gauges. Their bright work looks very good. It's bright without being chromey or cheesy. But a lot of the materials in here are not what you'd expect out of a nearly $70,000 car. The seats, armrest, and steering wheel, the touch points as they call it, are leather, but a lot of the other stuff, like the dash uppers, the door uppers, and everywhere around the center console here, it's all hard plastic or rubber, and um, a little disappointed compared to the BMW uh, X5's interior, which has really soft materials everywhere uh, all over the whole car. But like I said, you do get some cool gadgets. You got heated and cooled cup holders. That's really fun, and they work. I've used them before, they work great. Optional seat massagers, those also work great. Mercedes still uses this funky gear shifter lever, which takes a while to get used to, uh, but it is nice. You get heated and cooled seats, automatic climate control, all the stuff you'd expect from a $68,000 SUV. Also, because it's a diesel, you get range. That's what these diesels are really about. They're not so much about urban driving as they are about range. You know, you can get in this car and on one 27 gallon tank of diesel, you can go over 600 miles, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty impressive, you can go a long way in this car. Sure, the Mercedes is a bit expensive for what you get, but it has excellent ride quality, which is possibly the most important and most overlooked aspect of an SUV. The interior is well insulated from the outside world, and its diesel engine is still the quietest and most powerful in its class. It's not trying to be a sports car, it's trying to be a luxury car, and if we're honest, it's doing a fine job of it. 